Let me see your hands. What are you doing? What did you Two say? Two, send me a routine to. Uh, You're on my property. Block. Leave. Stay in the car. No. You're in my property. You can get off it now. Uh, it's your property? I own it. You can get off it now. Okay, can you show me? I don't have to show you anything. Okay, but you first off, don't drive up on a police officer that's sitting there like that. You don't swear at me. Okay, well... You don't sit on my property without asking. I didn't know it was your property. Please leave the property now. Okay, well... You're what? trespassing. There's signs that say trespassing. What? I'm not trespassing on your property. Please leave the property! Okay. I got stuff to do. Come on, come on, be on your way. No, I'm gonna figure out whose property this is first. Get off the property, I gotta unload crap. Okay, well, we're gonna figure out whose property this is first. You I'm not do your homework. For it. It's gonna be a hard time getting by your car here. You know you're going in on the wrong way, too. You know you're sitting in my property. What's your name? Jay Henderson. Officer Henderson. So I also clear people off of your property all the time that are trespassing. making it harder for me to serve your community. If you'd get off my property, I'd appreciate it. I got better stuff to do than to placate you on a Sunday night. I'm trying to do some work to help your community here, okay? You can leave now. Have you ever dealt with this gentleman? Well, he's upset that I'm parked in his parking lot, type in a report and he comes rolling in here like he's about to assault me with his car and then he's mad at me that I cuss at him. So, now he's videotaping me. Sir, can I ask why you're not happy he's here? Because you're blocking me from doing work on my own property. So, did you just ask him to maybe back up so you can drive? I did. He jumped out of his car, swore at me, told me to get it, my hands up, and so forth. And he's not getting out of the way. I've asked him about five times. I pay $24,000 a year in property taxes. Get off the property. Is there a reason you're sitting on my property blocking me from doing work? Now there's three of you. You want to use some of your guns and tasers and shoot me and beat well, me down? I could very well cite you for careless driving if I wanted to. Go ahead, please do it. You got two of your other folks here. I'm going to attempt to drive a little further now. Watch the same Todd. I think he's issuing you something. So here's the deal. I'm not I'm, making any deal. Cite me. No, I'm not going to cite you because I don't want you to take it as a contempt of cop, okay? So that's what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to get off my you. property. I don't. I pay 120,000 in property tax across the street. I don't care how much you pay in property tax. I pay your salary. Get off oh my property. My, thank you for that. I really appreciate <laughs> no, it. No, you don't. No problem. <laughs> no, you I don't, don't. care really who does. It. Just be on your way. Okay. So how about this? Every time that there's a homeless person sleeping on your property, I take I come care to, of them. No, I don't want you taking care of them. Hey, I just want to let you know you're doing a really good job of that. City of Aurora's uh, yep. inspection division. You tell them they'll they'll cite me fifty-five dollars for a shovel in the snow. They'll cite me for my trash. You tell them. You guys go solve murders, which is what you told me you do when I had bomb threats on my own property. Get off. Keep going. Okay. Just next time when you do that, I it's not. A, I don't recommend doing that. I don't recommend you sitting here on my property. I didn't know that you had an issue with it. At most people have an issue with with people sitting on the property. It's trespassing. Carry okay. on, carry on. Yeah, you, sir, have a good, splendid Sunday. Carry on.
Yes, you should write Aurora City Council. Yes, write your own city council. Yes, sign petitions, but don't just be a keyboard activist. Don't just give a few bucks or a few hours, and don't just protest. You need to give up some of your privilege. Give your money till it hurts. Give your time till it hurts. Give your safety till it hurts. Give your free time till you are inconvenienced. Give up your security, your family security, even if it makes you nervous. Change your work, change your hobbies, change your house, change your friends if you have to. Use your brains, your savings, your lack of melanin, your straight teeth, your driver's license, your English language, your good health. Use those privileges to help others who don't have them. That's what you can do to help.